and welcome. You're watching Head to Head. I'm Carrie Oderman with UATV. Today, we're joined in the studio by artist Vitaly Shupliak, founder of P Gallery. He is engaged in video installations and performance. Vitaly studies the aspect of, aspect of broad understanding of identity as well as consequences and impact of the phenomena of migration. And we're going to talk more about his projects. Hello, Vitaly. Thanks Hello. for joining us. As someone who doesn't know your work, what would you, how would you explain it to me? Mm, usually I'm working with uh, new media and um, also experimentating with different, uh, different materials um, and trying to develop for myself and also uh, create some, some new forms or touch interesting uh, uh, topics for me. Uh, connected with uh, questions or problematics, uh, broad understanding mi migration or identity. When we're talking about migration, what type of pieces, we've got some of your work behind you, um, how are you conveying the ideas behind migration and what it means? Mm, I think uh, it's because mm, migration is strong connected with identity. If you change uh, place or your natural natural um, environment then you then you became or you start uh, to fill these questions with um, where you're from or what kind of your identity how many exhibitions have you taken part in mm, if uh, if it's group exhibitions film festivals and also performance festivals as more than 80. Oh, so you've been quite busy. Let's talk about your installations and performances. Um, can you tell us about these experiences? Yeah, this was um, uh, also um, mixed media um, exhibition or exhibition founded with different uh, artworks. Um, this was painting, two big drawings, um, three-channel uh, video installation and uh, also objects. Mm, for me personally, it's a uh, more important idea and I just use the medium like a tools. Of course, mostly this video or installation, time-to-time -time performance. Uh, but the first, the first is uh, idea, then decide which, which tools to use. Let's talk about the scope of your study. Um, what kind of issues are you observing and exploring in your work? Mm, the mostly is, I can say, like a three three angles um, of topics: uh, migration, identity, and relation between uh, uh, reality and virtuality. Uh, but I didn't close myself or make a border to focus only on, on these questions and all the time trying to make a research on or be open to some new influences and um, interesting uh, stuff to develop. Now, as I mentioned, you're Ukrainian born, you're living in Germany. You collaborate also with German and Ukrainian artists? Yeah, of course. And how do you find um, fellow artists that share your same vision or um, work along your same lines? Mm, I think the, the first important is uh, discussion or trying to, to understand which uh, position and how much similarity we have. But also it's interesting to, to have a collaboration with somebody who have totally different point uh, of view and uh, as a possibility to learn something or confront uh, different points. You have an exhibition called Wearing Out Trousers. Um, tell me about the purpose of this exhibition and what problems it addresses. Mm, I was thinking about um, situation um, and ask myself how much um, messages should I should come to my phone. I mean this uh, push uh, uh, message and to make a hole in my trousers. 
So the phone slips through? Yeah, it's about the vibration. Okay, ah, okay, wearing out trousers, as in wearing them out. I wasn't sure if you were talking about just wearing trousers out of the house or not. Yeah, that's about the mechanical, uh, mechanical friction, like destruction of material, for example. Yeah, that's not about the lazy boy, it's what's the meaning in Ukrainian. Uh, uh. So, um... How did you convey this in the exhibition? Did you actually have trousers that were worn out in the pocket from film? How did you deal with this? How did you visualize this concept? I think the, the first was um, observing the floor in, uh, in the studio because there's two different rooms with uh, renovated and not renovated floor with destruction, with mechanical uh, mechanical destructions. And second room is with perfect uh, polishing, uh, renovated floor. And it was also kind of inspiration. And uh, I usually work in with, this, with different spaces and it's also inspired me to, to new ideas. Then I just, I just accept uh, the situation. Uh, the, the floor was a bit visually complicated with painting also. Then this was the point to start working on this project. Now your work is considered contemporary art. What can you tell us about differences in the contemporary mm. art scene in Germany, in Western Europe and in Ukraine? Mm. About differences, they usually, if I compare the uh, really young uh, artists, mostly st uh, still students, uh, then I think in Germany it's more easygoing and open to experiments, and also more open to to new ways uh, or new tools. I mean, the mediums. Uh, here we have uh, the strong classical painting school as can be plus or positive or negative. But uh, what is really positive, I didn't feel so strong differences uh, between uh, artists or art environments who work um, with, uh, with contemporary art. There's really a lot of similarity without these borders or differences between the countries. When you have an exhibition, do you like to attend it yourself to see how the public reacts to your work? Mm -hmm. Or do you simply just present it and let um, things take their own course? Mm -hmm. um, before I was working a lot with performance, uh, which means uh, also a lot of uh, interaction or situation when, when you didn't know how it will be going, then I usually prefer, prefer um, to have a conversation with uh, or feedback kind of it with uh, audience uh, because this gives uh, opportunities to analyze or um, develop uh, my project for future yeah, if, if I have some reactions. Do you find as an artist that if you've portrayed an idea one way it can be completely differently interpreted by the mm -hmm. public and does that help you in developing your art? Mm -hmm. Are you sometimes surprised? Um, for example, if I give some artist excursion, I trying to say this just my point of view or just my interpretation, but I didn't try to, to close the eyes for uh, viewers. And very interesting to hear uh, another commenters, another interpretations which I didn't know. It's like sometimes totally crazy and something amazing and really inspired uh, me for thinking in different way about my works also. Now because you do do performance art it's something mm -hmm. very personal because you're part of it. Um, if people are critical of your work, is it something that's hard to deal with or do you take it as a learning experience? Mm, in both way, but I think more uh, distance, like this kind of, of work and I don't know, you, you have this protection and you just accept it like, okay, uh, the critical is very important. Without constructive critic, we cannot develop and it's okay. 
What would you like to leave our viewers with? Um, your installation is running from when to when? Um, the installation is al already finished. This uh, was really, really short show. Um, but the opening was really nice. Well, you do you plan on coming back to Kiev with more um, exhibitions? I don't know when, but the uh, idea of residency was not only to make an exhibition, also try to refresh some contacts, because I was studying in Lviv and have a good connection with art environment in West Ukraine, but not too much here. Then this was also a good opportunity to, to have a new connections and uh, build some new re relation with possibilities to come back again and continue it, uh, because it's very important for me uh, to to, to keep this relation and uh, no matter where I'm living, in Germany or Poland or in other countries, still to, to be part of, uh, of this uh, process or art environment in Ukraine. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you. That was artist Vitali Shupliak, resident at Izolatia Cultural Platform, contemporary artist. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more with UATV.